Good evening, viewers. Well, here's the situation. I needed something to grind my tungsten with. So, I have this tungsten mate, made in America. And I bought off of their website, I think it was. I also sell it on eBay. And I am going to put it on this old Dremel tool that I have. Now that I've got a cordless, this guy just barely gets used anymore. So now he gets to grind my tungsten. Lucky him. Okay. Included in the kit are some diamond grinding wheels, the mandrel, uh, this little uh, Allen key, and of course, the big guy. They're very adamant that you should order this and not the made in China ones. Well, I was feeling like giving it a try. So let's see what happens here. So obviously this is your standard kind of mandrel. And I think we're gonna have to put this on first. So the cool thing is like you saw that come off. So we screw this guy on. What a deal, he's down. And then, hmm, well, no, that's not going to work, is it? Let's see here. Ah, aha, so we have to put in the mandrel first. And then we don't put the diamond wheel on. We get our, we can open up real nice, stick it on. There's probably instructions somewhere, but it seemed like we were gonna figure this out, even if we have to do it the wrong way a couple times. And then uh, we come down here with our included Allen key. Very important, glad they include the Allen key. And now, here we go. So put our diamond grinding wheel on. I think it's got both sides, so that's actually really nice. So that way, once you use up one side, you flip it over. Look how sparkly that is. I like it when someone sends me diamonds. What a deal. Get your wife and girlfriend one too. It's got diamonds. And uh, yeah, my wife actually likes to weld the TIG, so it's a, it's a good deal. It's a good gift for everyone. Well, I can see that I'm going to have to adjust the mandrel a little bit here. Again, this is probably in the instructions. Oh, that's fine, so we'll do that. Let's make sure though, before we, before we get too excited. There we go, let's pick the right hole. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to come up a little bit on that mandrel because that's just poking right into the side. That obviously shouldn't happen. So, all right, here we go. Loosen our grinder. I also think I didn't tighten the mandrel there. But that was that was on purpose, of course, because we didn't want to get too comfortable. Unscrew, unscrew, on the ground. It doesn't count if you don't get it on the ground, okay? It's uh, something that they tell you whenever you're working on stuff. It doesn't count if it's not. All right, I have retrieved the part from the ground. Hopefully now sacrifices to the gods are done. And we will now put everything together majestically, beautifully, and we'll be ready to go or tungsten grinding operation. Because we have a lot of tungsten to grind because we keep dipping them in. I think that's half the fun. There's probably the Tungsten Dipping Association or something. The club. I assume we're all in it if we, are, if we all have our TIGs sitting next to us like I do. All right. Look at that. And so now, She's assembled and she's ready to grind. What a deal. A really cool thing about this is it has two different grind angles for the two different uh, size of rods that you can get. So you, <clears throat> it's got a 60 degree and a 30 degree. And I've got them for 1 16th and for 3 30 seconds. So what a deal. I'll check it out and uh, I'll give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Now I have been using this grindstone and it works okay. You just gotta make sure you dedicate one but I think this will be better because the grindstone leaves them a little bit rough. It works, don't get me wrong, it works just fine. But here we go. Let's put on a 30 degree, this tip right here. 
I'll actually use this one. It's kind of boogered up. Let's see if we can get a focus on that. Yep, there we go. So we turn it on. Just beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see where I kind of boogered it up on the uh, the wheel beforehand. I was... Anyway, that's not, that's very nice. Some nice looking points. So I'm going to put some points on all my my goodies. Came in my sharpen bucket. Be ready to go. Now, there is one downside. When you've got it really boogered up like this, it's just not going to fit in that collet. So you will have to use the grinder occasionally. Just, or I guess you can come in like this and maybe try and let's try that. Let's see if this could be an all-in-one. Well, of course it can because it has this cutter here, so you could just cut it, which is a possibility here. Let's try that out and see if that works for us. Well, yes and no, so be careful. <laughs> uh, it did jump on me there, but we'll get it. All right, we're getting close to cutting through. Good deal. Now we can sharpen that. So I guess that's kind of dealer's choice if uh, you'd want to cut it off or you'd want to try and sharpen through that, but what a deal. Now we can start though and sharpen it. And of course, one nice thing too is if you're starting to wear a groove, you could always uh, loosen this or tighten it and bring it up and down and you can wear it in another point. So that's kind of handy too. And of course you could uh, adjust the mandrel up and down and you can make sure you're not just wearing one groove in it like you see that I am here. Uh, but yeah, it seems to work great. I like it. I like it better than the grinder. Well, there you have it. Ten nice little needles ready to dip. And yeah, this uh, device seems to work really nice. A nice little gadget for welding with. And I'm sure the ones from China work all right too if you want to go that route. But hey, a couple diamond discs, support an American company. Get to use your uh, old corded Dremel that's just sitting in a drawer somewhere. Heck of a deal.